Hello and welcome to this quick video overview of sending a transaction with Conga Sign for Web. To start us out, I am here in the Conga Revenue Lifecycle Management Cloud. And to create a new transaction, I'm going to want to click the button on the right hand side. The first thing I'll be greeted with is a Create Transaction screen. And within the screen, it's going to require me to enter a name. There are also options for a template and a transaction description, but for this particular demonstration, I'm just going to move forward with the name. So once I click Save, the transaction will be created and I will be taken to the transaction details screen. And it's on this screen where I can begin to fill out the different details for my transaction. So we can see here that there are a couple of different sections. Specifically, there are a section for documents, and then there's also one for recipients. I'll go ahead and upload a document. And then as I scroll down to recipients, we can see that for this org, a recipient is already included automatically. But since I'm doing the single signer NDA, I will just want to have the signer recipient added instead of this automatic one. So I'll remove the first recipient and add the recipient that I would like to receive the NDA. In this case, that's Salish. Once I'm done adding my recipient, I can scroll down and we can see here that there are additional settings as well, which I can set for this particular transaction. So there are things like language. If I want to set a language for the recipient, I can also set how many days from sending a transaction will expire. There's time zone options and upload options as well. But once I'm satisfied with everything the way it is, I can click Next. And it will take me into the tagging screen. So if I scroll down, I can see here there is an area for signature tags. And I can either drag and drop those tags onto the screen, or there are other options as well which are available to me. I can pre-configure a document for having signature tags, or there are also the use of layouts, which I will do here. Um, NDA single signer is already set up. I will apply that, and you can see that it quickly adds those tags to the document so I can easily send out for signature. Once I am happy with the tags the way that they are, I can go ahead and send that to sign. It'll ask me if I want to send. And once I confirm, it will take me to the transaction detail page. And it's on this page where I, as a sender, can see all of the different information about the transaction that I've just sent. So I can see what the status of the transaction is. Right now we can see it's in progress. I can see the different documents that are involved in the transaction. And then I can also see the different recipients that are involved in the transaction and if they've signed or not. So right now we see that Salish hasn't signed just yet. He doesn't have a check mark included, but once he does sign, that will show up on this details page. Additionally, we have various actions which are available, things like being able to review what documents are in the transaction. We can also send a reminder to our recipients of the transaction. We can edit the transaction in mid-flight. We can delete the transaction outright, or we can download the different documents which are a part of this transaction. And so with all that, we have reviewed how to create and send a transaction within Conga Sign for Web. I hope that this helps and that you have a great day. Thanks.